So today we're talking about how to create your own wand in Hogwarts Legacy. So if you guys don't know, in the beginning you are playing with a wand that was lended to you, but eventually, early on in the story, you are able to make your own wand. So to make your own wand, there's four different things to consider, which is the wood type, core type, flexibility, and the wand length. As of right now, it doesn't seem like any of these things affect how your character will play. So I believe these are all cosmetic and you guys should definitely choose whatever you guys want in your wand. So there are eight different styles when it comes to choosing your wand. And within those eight styles, there are three different colors that you could choose. So the first one we're looking at here is the classic in the gray. This is the one that they kind of give you in the beginning, which is essentially the stock version. Um, but then it, as we move on here, you can see that there is a notch version, the soft spiral, the spiral, the stock, and in this one here is the honey brown, but I'm switching it up so you guys can see what it looks like. And then here is the rigid, the crooked spiral with different other variations. And lastly, we have the natural in gray. So these are all the eight different wand styles that you guys could choose from. Uh, eventually, I end up going with the soft spiral, but these are the eight different type of wand styles you guys can choose from. And after choosing your wand style, we move on to wood type. And as you can see here, there are many different wood types length and flexibility when it comes to choosing this part of your wand but like i repeated earlier this part it doesn't really affect how your character plays um, but you guys should know that for wood type each type of wood has its own type of lore or backstory explaining to why you want cedar or redwood compared to all these other wood types so if you guys want to get very detailed and if you guys are really into the harry potter lore that is nice because you could definitely personalize it just how you want it to be. But then when it comes to length and flexibility, there isn't much of a difference. You could choose whatever you want here and it definitely won't affect how your character plays. And then for the last option, we have the wand core options. So here we have three choices. We have the dragon heart string, unicorn hair, and the phoenix feather. I don't believe these have any effect on your character, but the thing that differs from this compared to the other options that we had when it comes to cosmetics these actually describes the differences between the three cores so here as you can see for the dragon heart string it says dragon heart string that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic so now if we move over to the unicorn hair it says the hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of the one known for producing consistent magic. And then lastly, for the phoenix feather, we have the feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of the one capable of producing a great range of magic. So as you can see, these three choices does have a different play style, but I don't believe this actually affects how your character plays, but it is something that you could choose for yourself based off of whatever you want to play or however you want to play. That's basically it when it comes to creating your own wand inside Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys like the video, find it informative, smash that like button, Comment down below how you're going to build your wand and if you're enjoying the game. And go ahead and subscribe because one more Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.